Well, let's talk a little bit about needle palm and cold protection. Uh, needle palms are generally, their fronds and everything are hardy down to uh, extremely low temperatures, uh, probably negative uh, 10 or so. Uh, but um, these small needle palms, or any palms, when you first put them out, they're growing real slow uh, because uh, they've been in a pot or, or, uh, or whatever and uh, they haven't rooted in well and so especially when these are small these little needle palms can spear pull and the spear pull occurs from when uh, the wet uh, gets down in the spear area uh, rain or whatever it's down in this this area here, uh, down in more of the, the growing point of the palm, uh, and uh, uh, that uh, water precipitation will freeze and cause damage in there to the growing point because it's a little more sensitive than the fronds. And then in spring, fungus will uh, start eating at that area and uh, the spear will pull out. Now why do some palms uh, grow out of that easy and why do some not? Well, if a palm is growing well, which means it's been rooted well, it has a good root system, and growing fast, it will uh, push out a new uh, spear faster than an another palm that's uh, not rooted in well, not growing fast, and if it if it's not growing fast enough, it can't overcome that fungus that's trying to eat away at the tissue down in the spear area. And so, in that case, the palm will uh, you could lose the uh, uh, this whole little trunk on a needle palm. Now, lots of times when you have these small needle palms, what happens is you have one little uh, trunk or whatever, let's say, on this one, that's uh, bigger than the others, and it's your main trunk that you don't want to lose. And so, um, if you lose that, all you have left is one of these little um, offshoots here. That's this teeny tiny. If you have to come back from that, it might set you back uh, two or three years or something on the plant. So what I recommend on these small needle palms is to dry cover them at least uh, one to two years if they're small like this and uh, not established. And if you're in an area where it's going to get down below, uh, I always use 21 degrees just because uh, once uh, water gets down below 21 degrees it freezes pretty easily in things. So if you have like rain and temperature is under 21 degrees, it's best to keep these palms dry covered if you want to ensure that you don't lose that larger uh, trunk on these smaller palms the first year or two. So um, that's the recommendation and uh, uh, it's just up to you, you know, a lot of times you know, you may have a 50-50 shot of these palms regrowing the spear. Or you have a needle palms have a awful good uh, chance of growing back from the smaller offshoots. But uh, it'll set you back some. And like I say, uh, uh, here I have uh, seven needle palms. We'll look at a, a few of the larger ones here. And here's one of my larger needle palms. None of mine are, are really large. This one, but this one's about uh, four feet uh, tall and wide. And uh, I've got uh, about four this size and uh, two small ones and another one that's kind of about three foot tall or so. And here you can see this one's got about a uh, trunk that's about a little over a foot and uh, once one gets established in this size, you're not going to have to worry about covering them. Or if you have one that's established good and got two or three uh, trunks on it, uh, 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 they're just much more uh, 
cold hardy so uh, uh, you won't have to cover them once they get up this size.